McDonald riding there at Ascot for the first time on the weekend. He'll be a huge attraction. The red light's on. Set to go now, second leg. The Quaddy here at Belmont Park. Away, they're racing. Gee, the favourite got a fly from the inside. Sky Duke stepped out of the gates running and will lead them comfortably through the first 150. Joy Rise goes up now, travelling into second. From on the inside, Bell's Fantasy urged around them. On the outside, next of all, is Rock Hard Omaru. They're followed by 49er. Down on the inside of Natural Air Chief, Serene Dream Park. Three deep around those. Two lengths further back, Lady Tornado from Belafonte Boy. Back there, powerful Princeton towards the tail end of the field is Hartley at the 650 coming along the side and Sky Duke was able to steady up a little here for Parnham in front leading three quarters Joy Rise, Bell's Fantasy they were followed after a length on the outside Rock Hard, Omaru then two lengths 49 and Natural Air Chief Serene Dream back in the field so is Powerful Prince further back Lady Tornado, Belafonte Boy and Hartley, Sky Duke they whizzes into the home straight went past the 250, three in front Joy Rise, Bell's Fantasy, Sky Duke shake it up now down past the 150 Bell's Fantasy is the only danger to Sky Duke. With 100 left to go, almost off his feet, Sky Duke. Bell's Fantasy trying hard, but he'll keep Sky Duke going. And Sky Duke cracks it. Sky Duke beat Bell's Fantasy. Daylight back there third. Probably give that one to Lady Tornado. Just in front from Powerful Prince and Joy Rise. Then Rockhart, Omaru and Hartley. Belafonte boys, Serene Dream. They were followed home by Natural Air Chief, who's back with 49er. Sky Duke wins it. Bell's Fantasy runs second, and they gap the others. Absolute panels back to Lady Tornado. Three, two, six will be numbers after the running of race number six. Sky Duke out of the gates like it had been slung shot. Jumped to the front and was never headed. Bell's Fantasy stuck on. Commendable effort by the mare. And... Uh, there was a heck of a margin back to third. And that went the way of Lady Tornado. But all honours with Sky Duke placed at each of its three starts before this maiden or uh, victory here in this preparation this afternoon. By playing God out of Peggy's Princess and raced by Nevin, Carolyn Parnham, Bobby Pearson, Paul Cook, Mike Fagan, B. Bradshaw, D. Andrews. And written by Brad Parnham for Nifty Nev. Beating Bell's Fantasy, Dream Ahead, Mystic Maid Mare, David Harrison and Paul Harvey. And Lady Tornadoes by Toronado out of Lady Liz, Adam Durant, William Pike. Joy Rise, number eight, ran fourth. And it was a half a length by four and three quarters. Half by four and three quarters, 111.80 and 34.88. The last 600, a good win by Sky Duke. Fourth run in the preparation, second victory from six overall. Race seven, the Schweppes handicap over 1,700 the next of the day. And it gets underway at 5.10. As we join Brit and thoroughly deserved win by the favourite Sky Duke. Punters got on and this found the line after a frustrating run of minor placings. Placings, this preparation, but today was his day, Neville. He deserved a victory. He certainly did. You know, he, he flew the gates. He was uh, he was gone before they, the rest of them got out the gates and... Uh, the second horse gave us a bit of a fright, but um, yeah, he was, he was, Brad kept him going and he was too good at getting to the line. What were you thinking when that second horse was just inching closer? Did you feel as though Brad was going to be able to extricate enough out of him to find the line? Uh, yeah, I did, you know, probably, probably at about the 150 I could see it coming, but um, he, he was, I had a look at him again and he was, he was given plenty, so uh, um, yeah, I wasn't overly concerned, but uh, yeah, it just it got uh, closer than I thought it would. Yeah. But it was those two and a real gap back to the third horse. Yeah, so an excellent run by the second horse, obviously. And, you know, I thought both horses um, you know, probably uh, win more races, yeah. A comment on Miss Dracova from the previous race? A little bit disappointing. I, you know, she had a good enough uh, economical run, um, but she didn't sort of uh, finish off. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'll sort of reassess, but, um, you know, she got beat probably less than a length, so I, I, I'm not sort of uh, overly concerned just yet, but we'll see how the dust settles and go from there. Mm. Well done on this one. Thank you. There is Neville Parnham, Sky Duke, a very well-deserved win after three placings this preparation. Today he wins under Brad Parnham.
the way through. He actually led all the way this track, this distance on debut at 1,200, Brad. So it was a very similar to that as a two-year-old. Yeah, it was actually. Um, he sort of, he won well that day. And um, yeah, he probably, you know, he's not to say he doesn't like Ascot, but I think he probably likes this track a little better. Coming out of the gates, it looked like you were uh, in front basically as soon as they opened. Yeah, he was pretty keen to get on with it. He, uh, he jumped quick and um, once he jumped that quick, I was, I was keen to hold the front. Um, I think if he didn't begin that well, I would have been happy to take the sit, but because he began that well, I thought I'll just control the race and get the job done. Halfway up the straight, could you hear the pontiff coming? Yeah, I could, um, but I, I felt like I always had enough in hand. I knew he was going to get close to me, but uh, my bloke just had enough fight to hold him off. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There is Brad Parnham combines with his father, Neville, and Sky Duke. It's a well-deserved victory, defeats Bell's Fantasy, and a gap back to third with Lady Tornado. Three, two, six, and eight, the numbers from race number six. Hey, who cares what you play?